What's up guys, my name is Michael, welcome back. Today, Apple just released iOS 12.2 beta 3, so let's go ahead and take a look at what's new. So the first thing that is new is in Control Center whenever you press on the Apple TV remote widget. So you can see here, new from beta two, is that it actually takes up the entire screen. That is not new today. What is new today is that it is now a completely new dark interface. So if you go ahead and look at this on beta two, it looks a little bit different. Apple made it a lot darker here. So I think what they're doing is they're moving a lot of their UI elements towards a more dark theme as they get ready for iOS 13 with the rumored dark mode. So this looks very nice in my opinion. And as we saw in iOS 12, Apple is moving towards more dark UI elements pretty much throughout the entire OS. So whenever you get a system notification like a now playing a music widget on your lock screen, that is dark. And now whenever you go into the Apple TV widget, this is dark as well. So before iOS 13, Apple is kind of teasing us here with a few extra uh, dark UI elements across iOS 12. Next up is a very small change inside the news application. Uh, before I talk about it though, another change that they did add in iOS 12.2 beta is Apple News is now available in Canada. So if you forgot about that from my original video, just a quick little reminder there. But when we jump into the news application, a very, very small change at the top here where it says Apple News, it actually used to spell out the entire word Apple News. Now it's the Apple logo and then it says news. So a very, very small change and nothing to get excited about, just a, uh, a little logo addition there at the top of the news app in iOS 12.2 beta 3. Possibly my favorite addition in this update is the complete revamp of the about section in settings. So if you go into settings, general and about, you can see here this has been completely reorganized and it makes a lot more sense now. So here they put the top five items that you would look for the most whenever you go into settings and about. So. Most people, when they go into settings and about, they want to see what their phone is called, they want to see what software version it's running, the model number or the serial number. Because if you get uh, software support or technical support from Apple, they always ask for these identifier numbers. And they don't usually ask for information that's down here, so Apple kind of put it down at the bottom now and all the information that you need quickly is now at the top. So the general and about section has been completely reorganized in iOS 12.2 and I really like this change. So one more small bug fix here. Apple actually fixed the bug where it used to show the battery percentage underneath the time. Now it shows the date once again. Uh, to see your battery percentage, all you have to do is go into Control Center and it is right there. I kind of like seeing my battery percentage under the time because you can't really see it with a quick glance. I don't really care what the date is because I can just unlock my phone and see that on the calendar icon right there. So I kind of like the way they had it before, but nevertheless, they did uh, change it back to the date underneath the time on the lock screen. And finally, just to throw this in at the end, this update does include the group FaceTime bug fix. So as you may know, iOS 12.2 beta 2 came out before Apple released the public fix for the group FaceTime bug. So in iOS 12.2 beta 2, group FaceTime was not enabled, but here on iOS 12.2 beta 3, it has been fixed. So guys, that is pretty much it for iOS 12.2 beta 3. Apple seems to be adding a lot of new additions in all of these beta updates. I think my favorite one today is in settings. I uh, just like how they reorganize this. It makes a lot more sense now, how it's uh, kind of sectioned off here uh, with these different uh, sections of your settings page. I kind of like that. Anyway, you can tell me in the comments what you think about this update. Tell me what your favorite new feature is. My name is Michael. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.